Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to part two on CMS blocking system brought to you by DTFLH.com. Today, I would be discussing about the file structure we would be using throughout the entire video series. Now, a lot of you would be thinking, you know, why why I'm talking about the file structures? Because you already know about how to create files, how to create folders. Uh, guys, the reason I want to discuss about it because if you want to build a very good and a strong application, you need to have a very strong uh, I would say file structure otherwise and one or the other point you're gonna mess up with things So the file structure I thought about this particular uh, Video series as is quite simple We would be dealing with three main folders in our entire like in our actual Root folder and there would be an index.php file that would be our controller So let me create all of those to make things clear for you so very first, we would be having an admin folder, okay, that would be admin, and uh, then we would be having an uh, applications folder, there we would be writing our all PHP script for our teams. Then we would be having a teams folder, where we can actually create teams, and we can activate different teams from our backend panel, and th then there would be uh, index.php file, that would be our controller. To control all the teams from this particular file <clears throat> so let's start from the admin folder first but inside the admin folder we would be writing the standalone CSS JavaScript or PHP script so anytime we will have to change our front end that would be the teams we won't have to do anything with our admin panel we can let it be the way it is and we will actually not do anything with this admin folder then the applications folder would be the actual functions, the controllers, the models we would be using in order to run a team. So uh, if you if you don't want a very big change to your team, then I then I believe you don't have to touch the application folders at any point of time. So these would be the bunch of PHP classes with a lot of functions inside it, and their functions will be controlling all the teams. And inside this teams folder, we would be writing our views okay we would be writing our HTML we would be calling the functions we created inside the applications folder and you would be writing very minimal PHP code so anytime you have to change your team so you don't have to actually scratch your head or you don't have to write everything from the bottom you can actually you know change your CSS file you can create uh, some different 10 20 more devs and you would be done and this index.php file would be the actual file that would be taking care of our all teams so guys let's say i have three teams inside it okay so i'm gonna say team one then i'm gonna have a th okay, not this one. then i'm gonna have team two and in the last i have team three so we won't be calling any of these files to our root folder Okay, we, I'm, I'm not going to create, you know, a bunch of files out here or a bunch of teams out here. There would be only one file. This file will follow the functions we're going to write in our applications folder. And that functions will let this file know to go and grab the theme which is activated by the actual admin. So if you're going to activate the theme one, um, that would be activated from your admin panel the way you people do in WordPress. If you have been using WordPress. So if you're going to activate team one, this file is going to look, go ahead and look for the team one folder and it's going to find the particular index.php file inside it and it will load the file on your actual website. So this would be the very simple, uh, I would say, file structure we would be following. For the admin panel, we would be writing the procedural code. So, you know, don't expect a lot of MVC pattern or a lot of classes. In the admins folder, we would be using, you know, the procedural codes to make things uh, like go really faster. And for the teams, I would say we will follow the MVC pattern so that we can make our <coughs> teams flexible later if you want to change them. So, guys, that was a very basic introduction, and I would say a feel how our CMS blogging system gonna work. I will see you guys next time. Bye bye.